Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is GitHub's world record DDoS attack. On Wednesday, GitHub apparently suffered the largest distributed denial of service attack or DDoS attack that was ever recorded in history. They apparently suffered from 1.35 terabytes of network traffic. Now, this was apparently around 127 million packets a second. So just an almost unimaginable amount of traffic per second going after GitHub's network. Now, the silver lining here was they only suffered this DDoS attack for anywhere between five to nine minutes. Within five minutes of noticing the DDoS attack, they actually used one of their providers, Akamai, to help distribute this malicious traffic. What's interesting is what caused this DDoS attack. In some of the past videos we've had, Internet of Things botnets like Mirai were responsible for some pretty large DDoS attacks. However, that was not the case this time. This time, it was actually something called a UDP amplification attack. This is a type of attack leveraging UDP. UDP is used because it's easy to spoof. The attacker doesn't need a return packet, so instead he can actually use his victim's IP address for the return packet. And what the attacker does is leverage certain UDP services that when you send them certain types of small packets, they can result in very large replies. And in past videos, I've talked about DNS services that suffer from this, NTP services, and there's a number of other UDP based services where one small packet can result in a large reply and because it's UDP you can send this sort of packet to any victim on the internet. Now in this particular case it was a different type of UDP traffic that generated this attack. It has to do with database memcaches and some pundits are calling this memcrash attacks. But in any case it actually works like any other UDP amplification attack where again sending around a 15 kilobyte packet results in over a 135 kilobyte packet being sent to some random victim on the internet. Now one thing I find interesting about this is this attack happened on Wednesday. However, US CERT, the Computer Emergency Response Team for the US, sent out a notification warning again about UDP amplification attacks. Now this was just a general notification listing all kinds of services that might suffer from UDP amplification attacks including DNS and NTP, but what was interesting was Memcache was listed at the end of this list the day before this attack happened to GitHub. So I suspect that other companies out there or other networks out there might be receiving these sort of Memcrash attacks as well. So it is kind of interesting. So how do you protect yourself from this? Really, we recommend you get DDoS protection. Now really, you need some sort of DDoS protection service that is hybrid. Hardware like WatchGuard's Firebox does have some minimal DDoS protection. For instance, if we detect certain types of attacks, we can definitely deny that traffic. But our hardware is only able to go up to a certain bandwidth. If you have hardware uh, capable of handling 40 gigabytes of traffic legitimately, if you got 1.35 terabytes of traffic, it would definitely DDoS your network. So really, Normal DDoS protection or hybrid DDoS protection really need the help of some sort of upstream service provider like Akamai or other ISPs. In any case, if you feel like you might be a target of DDoS attacks, you should consider that sort of DDoS protection service. Other than that, if you manage any public services on the internet that use UDP, you should definitely look at US CERT's email about the different types of UDP amplification attacks and make sure your public uh, server is not contributing to the problem. Anyway, it's just interesting to see such a huge DDoS attack affect GitHub, even if for a short period of time, and interesting to see attackers continue to find ways to use different types of UDP amplification attacks. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.